um, this is a film about my life in art. I feel so fortunate to have been able to be a painter, a writer, a teacher. What more could you want? So I've had a very rich, marvellous life. The film that we've made covers my career chronologically, but I'd like you to see first uh, the work I'm doing at the moment. It's all on the theme of mountains. Lots of the mountains come from the lakes, but also elsewhere. And recently I did all these studies uh, that I hope will turn into worthwhile paintings, probably fairly large, pretty abstract oils, I think. I got very excited about this theme of um, mountains and using the colour, the rich, strong colour, uh, to try and express the excitement and strength and power and of the mountains. I'm very fond of the Lake District. I was at school there and um, it's extraordinary. Um, for a long time I couldn't paint the mountains of the Lake District. And then recently I went to the Langdales where the mountains are much more sort of stronger and powerful and so on. So. Um, and I took a lot of photographs and I drew a lot and then I thought well to get the power of the Langdales I need bigger canvases so they came out and then I started and I realized that the mountains I was actually drawing were not the Langdales <laughs> they were actually influenced very much by the Norwegian fjords right. you know, with this power yes uh, and then I sort of thought, well, I went back and looked at Turner and saw what he did with, uh, you know, in the Alps, some of these huge paintings um, that he did. And he used a very free-flowing brushstroke. So what I'm doing now on this one is to try and find whether I want this to be more Langdale Pike or more Norwegian mountain mm. but basically it's a painting about mountains the rhythms of mountains it might be alone in the mountains or loneliness or nice to be alone I had to stand up to do this I felt very much I wanted to try and get the, the rhythm uh, and I've stopped because I now need to know what I want to do uh, whether I want to try and retain the rhythms with the brush stroke, which I think I do. Mm. The colour uh, I use is um, very free actually, it's um, not very close to the original. I'm trying to get the feel through the colour. Um, an oil, a big oil, a big oil. Uh, winter, it was winter in February and the lakes. The colours were extraordinary. Um, and these are all studies that I hope will become, you know, bigger, larger oil paintings. Perhaps this is the only one of this series which I think has really come to grips with, with what I'm trying to say. Pretty abstract rhythms that make up these powerful mountains. But I need a uh, canvas that is big so that it can float. And I, I think it, there's this difficulty between how close you get to representation, uh, you know, and how uh, abstract you can actually be. Uh, I find it difficult to find the 
happy mean yeah. between these two different aspects. Uh, this one has come closer to representation, hasn't it? The thing I find exciting about this one is that if I can paint this on a very large canvas as a, just an image in the centre of the canvas mm -hmm. without anything around the edge, isn't that going to be well a sort of icon? But you see, there is this other side, which I said, I told you, was that I don't care damn if, if people don't think much of it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I feel it's got some worth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping that I'll be able to retain this energy, you know, on a larger scale. Mm. So I have to buy some really big brushes. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody done. Mm. Yeah, I'm, f I'm filled with with um, the stuff that is in here because it's it's so sort of exploratory that there's lots I can work on mm. and go forward. Yeah. I'm not going to pick out. Just yet. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, much to do. It's lovely. <laughs>